Welcome back to Verticon in Dallas. I'm here with uh, Johnny, Johnny Mack, John McDermott of McDermott Helicopters. Thanks, and we're here Paul. to talk about this beast, um, the uh, Bell 214 ST, which if you look up, as a Chinook driver, I have never seen blades bigger than my old helicopter, but this thing is something to behold. Johnny, tell us about the 214 and, and why the 214 for your company. Okay, so we've always been Bell operators, uh, predominantly, and um, we started off with the 214Bs back in 2002, um, and uh, we've just developed from there. Um, <clears throat> we got an opportunity to buy 214 STs, and we loved them, but at the time we didn't have uh, the volume of work, the demand just wasn't there. Yeah. So, uh, um, by building up our 214 uh, B fleet, led to a demand for a twin engine variant of the yeah. 214B. So the 214 ST was the obvious choice. So um, uh, we bought uh, all of Ericsson's stock of 214 STs and everything to do with 214s. And um, we've uh, decided to uh, expand by developing the fire tank along yeah. with Halitac for the 214 ST, high skid gear. <clears throat> and now um, the demand for the aircraft's out, uh, outweighing the supply of aircraft. I say they're quite a rare bird, aren't they? Well, they've been rare, yeah, they've become rare, but um, so we we now own the 214 um, type certificate data sheet. Right. So for the B model and the ST, so technically now this is actually a McDermott 214. So like Ericsson now own the Sky Crane, yeah. this is now a McDermott 214. Yeah, yeah. So um, the, the market we're in is the two and a half to three and a half ton market. Yeah. So two and a half thousand, three thousand five hundred liters. But our advantage is, is we can carry passengers. Yeah, you standard certificate. Yeah. So we're a, a transport category yeah. certificate. Um, so it'll do everything that uh, we need it to do, plus, a, plus carry passengers. And uh, we, uh, we've decided that uh, we'll go into production with them. Really? Yeah, so we're working with the company that previously made the Yankee model for Bell. Um, and uh, we're well underway with uh, getting that going. When do you expect the first aircraft to roll out from the <clears> first new build? So the first new data plate should come out in 2026, late 26 or early 27. It will be fitted out with um, existing running gear so it'll be a new cabin yeah. new tail boom new engines but it'll have overhauled uh, components on it and that's just just purely a supply chain thing to catch up yeah. all the production that's going so we're making it uh that we're making them simple utility helicopters there's we don't want these to be flying out to oil rigs in all sorts okay. of weather there to do uh firefighting um Search and rescue for sure. Yeah. Uh, winching, we're actually yeah. working uh, winching in Greece at the moment uh, in the utility role. And uh, yeah, I mean, they're effective. They were a Bell helicopter. Bell helicopters are easy to keep operating, yeah. very reliable. Um, one, uh, one of the selling points of these is that uh, you can take your components to any MRO and yeah. maintenance repair organization. Yeah. <clears throat> get them overhauled so we don't, we're not, the people who buy these aircraft office are not going to be OEM reliant for overhauls and what have you and lead times. And uh, you know, the, the, the reliability, last year we did 4,460 hours in 120 days. Wow. And we got 98.6% um, show. That puts a lot of modern aircraft to shame, that percentage, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. I, I don't think any any other aircraft would have been able to no. be that reliable. In the environment we're working, we were scooping salt water. Yeah. So, you know, we've got a very stringent um, protocol for, for decontamination and that, but it's hard work. And these yeah. aircraft are flying 10 hour days, day in, day out. Proper workhorses. Yep. So are you looking at changing any of the avionics suite of the aircraft? You're gonna put a digital cockpit in or are you gonna keep legacy steam in there? No, no, no. We're, we're um, we're in 2025, so it's time to <laughs> throw out the old. Um, 
we've got a, a glass cockpit uh, yeah. set up there. A, a, it's actually a working uh, model in the back. So it's Genesis uh, yeah. avionics. Um, there'll be Fadec uh, GE engines yeah. in it. Um, we've skinny the aircraft down. As I say, we've taken it from a 165 knot aircraft and we're actually uh, lowering the VNE because um, basically our firefighting configuration. That's uh, drag. Yeah, yeah. It, it, we just 120, 130 knots is plenty for us. Yeah, that's still quicker than an S61. And, Comfortably. And it reduces the fatigue on the aircraft. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so we've got uh, some upgrades we've done. We've got a, uh, we're working on finalising our 1,000 pound uh, external load increase. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, quite a, quite a bit of new stuff going in it, but still the reliability of Bell, yeah. and it can still be repaired by 99% of the mechanics that are available. And, and are you seeing sort of global demand for this aircraft as you put it back into production? Absolutely. The reason we've gone back into production is because there's a demand for this type of aircraft. Nobody, you, you know, tell me, who's building a utility helicopter these days? A real utility yeah. helicopter, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, a lot of the Europeans make very pretty helicopters, but they're not particularly robust right. for the environment that we're working in. Yeah, and lots of plastic, <clears throat> lots of composites, lots of, and lots of cost. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, we just want our aircraft to be reliable, to be uh, user-friendly and affordable to keep going. Um, and, uh, yeah, I suppose that's what's sort of driven us into this aircraft. Well, I very much look forward to seeing the, the output. I'm very much look forward to seeing the first aircraft new build come off the line. And so seeing are we. it flying sometime <laughs> in the next 18 months. So it's yeah. an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you very much indeed. No Cheers. worries. Cheers. Thanks for everything.